Red Edition, welcome, happy day. I got a groaner for you. Just the other day I was walking down the road and I saw a duck and it was dead. He must have had a quack attack. I think he was a liberal. <laughs> Gun talk. Throughout the years, gun talk has kind of gone into our mainstream world and we don't even know it. You may not know it and I wanted to share with you. I'm your wiser advisor, I know stuff. Here it comes, weapons, terminology, lock, stock, and barrel, okay? The lock is a firing mechanism, the stock is a wooden part of the gun, and the barrel is a cylinder. I'm gonna do that, I'm in. Lock, stock, and barrel's kinda cool. Loaded for bear, I'm loaded for bear. Another bit of verbiage that we use in our daily world, almost at least, this term came from the 1880s and it's about the heavy charge of powder that you had to put into your black powder rifle to kill a bear because it took a bigger shot. Uh, flash in the pan, okay? It's a flash in the pan. That'd be a musket. When it misfires, of course, the gunpowder flares and it's a flash in the pan. Half cocked, <laughs> we all know about that one, right? That'd be me in a lot of cases in my world. The firearm should be safe, though, if it's in the half cocked position. Keep it under your hat. The guys way back when used to put guns or weapons, knives in particular, under their hat. And a lot of the little Derringer things, hats and helmets, keep your powder dry you know, a keep it dryer or it won't work for you. And that's just another little bit of stuff. Do you feel wiser now? Hey, just here to help. California, there are so many nut jobs in California that, that I find it hard to even grasp. And, and, and I worry about me because I go north to south. I live half the year in California and half the year in British Columbia. And there's nut cases everywhere. I guess I'm just a glutton for punishment. But actually, it's more than that. I'm like the preacher with my my congregation is full of atheists and I'm trying to do my job. I guess that's what I'm doing here because everywhere I go, there's, I'm surrounded by left-wing people so I can try to help them. But the lawmakers now in California, they come up with a new law like not every day, every second. And, and, and it's wild. I mean, you, no one could ever understand what they're trying to do. I know they, they do, but here's one of many that they got through the house the other day. They voted to prohibit schools from starting before 8.30 a.m. 80% of all the schools or all the students go to school before 8.30 a.m. And so now they're making it law that that, that can't happen. And the reasoning is that teenagers particularly are facing sleep problems because schools force them to get up early. Don't! You know, again, that's a mind breaker, right? I, I mean, we have school boards, we have parents, and, and instead you got this little group of, of socialist people that sit around with nothing else to do but create laws all day. And, and I guess somebody must have looked at the clock and saw a kid yawn at, at 7.30 in the morning or something. He said, hey, the kid yawned. Let's have a new law and stop that. Ugh. If a bad man with a gun kills innocent people, particularly in Canada now, let me focus on that. The Liberal government and all of the commies say all guns have to go. But if a terrorist kills somebody with a gun, they kind of do a double whammy. They say, let's take all the guns away, but let's bring in a whole bunch of refugees from Syria and, and Iraq. You know what, again, back to this thing. Liberals and, and conservatives, there's such a difference, or should be at least, and, and just let me end today with this goofy little story, but, but it's meant to be a joke, but it also does tell a real life story. I mean, you had a, a liberal and a conservative walking down the road and they looked over in the ditch and here's the guy and, and he's dead. He's got 19 bullet holes in him, four knives sticking out and a rope around his neck. It's kind of a mess. And, and the conservative, of course, says, we must go find who did this and punish him. The liberal looks at it and says, we must find who did this he needs our help. Hey, y'all, come back here tomorrow. See ya.